All right, so again, we're going to go to the core, and we're going to throw the uh, combination attacks. Again, a uh, one, eight, two, five. So he'll have a chance to see some different stuff. Again, we're not going to do the whole setup with the door and the uh, car and the whole frame and everything. I'm sure you can visualize what, what we're doing. And uh, this also gives you another angle to look at it from. Again, you saw that my blade got through on that one. Uh, his hand would have been right here to stop that. And again, at that point, that's when you really try to grab a hold of that thing, get a catch on it, and finish a on the of the day. Uh, I'm going to do it one more time, try to get a knife in that hand. That's the time to go. Those low ones are the time to go to the head. It's hard when you're high to then get to the head. But as soon as he feeds you a low one, man there, and, and yeah, that or, that or another nine. Try to get that up there. As soon as I go low, this is going to fire back up. Now, see, I got him on the defense. I throw that knife up in his face, and all of a sudden he's on the defense. But then you got to make sure that you're not Again, you're fighting, you're not fighting here, but I'm back here. Now, see, that time I missed. This hand came in a trap, and I'm going up for the knife. And he's just avoiding me like a, like a hot chip. <laughs> So anyways, uh, I mean, that's, that's, you know, give me one more of those. Uh, you okay? Yeah. So that's all I'm doing, just snapping that out. You know, he, he like coming with the thrust. Uh, that's because he's a newer student. He hasn't done this as his only knife defense like I did uh, back in uh, the 80s. This was my knife defense back in the 80s. My brother did hours and hours and hours. So when I do a nine low, I just do a nine high afterwards and hope that there's some head there. If there's not, well then when the high strike comes back, I'm ready to go. When it comes to the low again, I just come down low and I go back to the head. I'm trying to get that head shot. That throat shot is, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see where we're at. Yeah. Oh, we didn't do the other combo. Yeah, I mean, we're just getting beat up all over. I mean, my, my arms are almost to the point of being numb in some spots. Uh, let me see. So again, this time I'm coming with the uh, 11, the 7, 12 and 6, right? You block that first one, you get that stab in before I do the stab. Okay. Uh, that I mean, he just they even did a double tap on me there. So uh, you can see that it's not the precarious situation that you would think it is uh, being seen in a car with a guy holding a knife at you. As long as you were aware. You saw somebody approaching your car, and you got your knife out. I mean, hopefully you're carrying a gun, and you can really give him a surprise. I had the, uh, I did this one time. Uh, I left work. I can't remember. I'm pissed off at work, and uh, when I get my car, I didn't immediately kit up when I got out to my car. So I'm not kitted up. So now I'm driving uh, towards home, and I notice my gas is low. Okay, I got to get gas. So I pull in the gas station. When I pull in the gas station, before I'm going to get out of my car, I'm going to kit up. So, you know, I actually open my door. I'm like, oh, shit, I got a kid up. So I reach down, you know, I get my keys. I'm a responsible guy. I lock my uh, vehicle in my car. I get my keys. I unlock the cable lock uh, where it's anchored to the, the, uh, the frame of the car. And uh, I pull my weapon out. And I put the magazine in. And I rack the slide. And just as I rack the slide, I hear a sound outside my car. So, you know, I turn it this way. And as I turn it, of course, now my weapon comes with me. And this guy, who is coming, I think, to attack me, based on his reaction at that point, he doesn't say like, "Yo, man, what's the gun for?" You know, he's like, uh, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" And he just, he just f off. But you know, he's coming. He came in from a, he, like, blindsided me around to get there because when I came in the gas station, 
Uh, you know, you drive to the gas station here, you have an entrance here, the store is there, and the pumps were over here, they're this way. So what I actually did was I came around, I drive, so I'm looking at the store this way, I then turn all the way around, I have to go almost uh, 180, which allows me to see everything at the gas station. There was no dude hanging out at the front of the store. Uh, the store was at an angle over here, so he could have been over there, but as I crew around here, now I'm looking at the pumps, and I'm pulling up to the pumps. So this guy's coming back over here, in my blind side, trying to come up on me. And at the same time, while well, he's trying to come up on me, I just happen to finish kidding up, get ready to put my uh, weapon in my holster. And as I hear the noise, I turn, and you know now he's got a gun on him, and he's like, oh, 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 you know that type of stuff. He just f offs, and he he uh, like f offs around the pump, and he goes across the street instead of back to where he started from. He wants to get the hell out of there because he was up to no good. I'm telling you, this was uh, I get off work at like two in the morning three in the morning, and this was, you know, you know, the zero dark 30 uh, that you talk about. It just happened to be at a uh, gas station. So anyways, uh, that worked out well. Of course, if I'd have been properly kitted up, you know, I would have caught him as I'm heading towards the store if he wants to come out and try to beg me. And now, you know, I've got a knife here, I've got a gun here, i got another knife here, and, you know, he's probably, you know, going to see that I'm a guy who he doesn't want to mess with, or he's going to get my standard when he comes up. Before he can ask me for the money, I ask him for the money. That's the way I run. Uh, so I see that you're one of these uh, little begging, you know, fucks. And uh, as soon as I see you, I'm like, yo, man, you got five bucks, I gotta get some gas. And of course, oh, no, I ain't got no money. Uh, and they go away, you know? So you gotta, you know, you dictate the action. That's what uh, I try to do. I wanna dictate the action. And hell, if you'll give me some money, that's great. I one time came up to a, one of these red light things where the bumps are out there, and the bump comes up and asks me for money. And I say, look at my old truck, man, I ain't got no money. My air con don't work, I got eight kids. Why don't you give me some money? And you know what? You gave me some money. So I took it. That's how I roll. That's how I roll. That guy don't ask me for money no more. Two stories, both of those YouTube. Uh, getting ready to uh, do a video uh, instructing uh, on a couple different things uh, uh, knife fighting, uh, handgun disarms, and in general, I just want to uh, do a disclaimer, legal disclaimer, or a warning for you. Uh, the techniques and skills uh, depicted in my videos are extremely dangerous. Uh, it is not the uh, intent of myself or anybody working out with me or of YouTube probably to encourage uh, you viewers to attempt any of these techniques or drills without proper professional supervision and training. Uh, attempting to do so can result in severe injury or death. Uh, do not attempt any of these techniques or drills that I show in these videos uh, without supervision of a certified instructor and a checkup to make sure that you are in the proper health to uh, uh, involve yourself in uh, these physical activities. Uh, again, I'm, you know, I'm, uh, I disclaim any liability from any damage or uh, injuries of any type that, you know, viewers or users of the information contained in these videos may uh, encounter uh, from the use of this information. Uh, you know, I'm basically doing this for uh, 
it's being presented for academic study only, and then you get with a uh, qualified you know, uh, bro. instructor, and you uh, you go through it with somebody who knows what they're doing. Uh, again, uh, the lessons in this course describe uh, several situations uh, that we would employ uh, armed for armed or unarmed uh, self-defense. However, the methods of self-defense we describe may not be legal uh, everywhere we go. It is important that you consider the legality of the methods in the place you are at. Uh, we consider it highly prudent that you become informed on the laws of armed and unarmed self-defense you know, wherever you find yourself. That's your responsibility. Uh, again, I'm just talking about in this class uh, what's uh, prudent and legal where I'm at, which happens to be South Florida, where you understand the ground uh, law, which is a lot different than it is in other places. So again, I uh, just wanted to get that out before the whole video gets started. now is bringing this uh, empty hand and we'll fight a little more. So again, the empty hand is going to follow the lead hand into the fight. And all we're going to try to do is to trap that, lead, that his knife hand so we can get in a finishing angle. Slow, turn it slow. So it's just coming in here. I'm blocking here. Now I'm going to just push this out of the way and get my cut in. Okay? this same old static block but we're bringing this hand in. We've worked on this before. Now what I want you to do is I want you to still try to follow through with that and come with that uh, it's going to have to be applied because I'm pushing up or you can try this. You're still trying a one. Actually, you need to slow down. I'm going jumping three drill bit, uh, three drill bit. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to feed me the one, I'm going to cut. Feed me the two, I'm going to cut. Feed me the five, I'm going to cut. Feed me the eight. So, so one. See, that time I have to push that down out of the way to get that knife in there. So again, I'm tapping here, then I'm tapping here. I'm trying to, like I always say, the hard part is forcing yourself to step back to a beginning level. And you see both my hands going out, and I'm trying to tell myself, no, do the drill, do this drill, don't do some other drill drill. I mean, when I bring this in, I want to fly with both of them. It's real slow. This hand comes up first, makes a static block. This hand then comes in. This is going to be a one, so he's going to want to come across. Now I'm going to grab this here, and now I can make that cut. Okay, now I'm going to again. So again, i got to make this static block first. That's what I'm having a hard time with, because I want to bring both hands in at the same time. Now I can bring this across here, push this down here, and now I can come to this cut. Now I'm coming to that other one. So the static block here. Now this hand comes in, now I make my slash. Okay, the other side. Static block, hand comes in, now I can make my cut. So that's what I'm, I'm having a hard time slowing down here. So let's swap those out. Let me give you five times through all four angles. Okay. Nice and slow. Down here. Did you notice you want the uh, angle two block here? Show you, I can show you what we no, I mean, that's what we're doing. But again, if you do that, that's okay. I mean, I'm not saying it's wrong. It was a good block. It was still a linear block. It was just the hand was uh, inverted, let's say. Right, just let that flow down. Okay? So once you go that way, I'm trying to stop it and uh, feed it at the same time. So I need to try to fall through this here. Push it back to it. Push it down here. Right, that's why you gotta push that out of the way and come back. Right. That's why those chambers are so important. Because you get your hand out of the way so other stuff can happen. And it sets up a good power to the next time.
like uh, the old saying is, uh, fast, uh, wait, fast, yeah, smooth is fast and fast is smooth. So again, if you can do it smooth, you're going to be able to do it fast. And then when you're doing it fast, it should be smooth. Scotty likes those stabs. No, it's just, it's just, the stab is fine. Believe me, the stab is a more lethal cut than me slapping a, uh, a nine on it, okay? But the thing is, you know, when I was coming up and I did this drill 15,000 times, it was nine, 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 nine. So if you're flipping over into seven by four, it's gonna be the more effective thing, especially when you pull that thing out, right? That's what I want to do. Right, exactly. That's gonna cut everything. Okay, so anyways, uh, let's swap off and I guess go to your right hand. up there I, I was for some reason like he's got to come with a one but instead I still got the uh, static block in here and something goes out and hits him. closest weapon closest target thank you uh Kelly so again now I, I can try to push this here if I want wherever I go damn this first one here so now uh well, we have a chance I want to ramp up the speed we have a chance for a little I always want to jump to the next drill. You know? I want to do the more advanced stuff. And again, you know, I learned to drill a certain way. That's the way I'm teaching it. You know, if you feel that something works better for you and it does work, it's effective. You know, do what's effective. Again, I, I did it too. change your order if you start stabbing me harder. It's like, what are you upset? I'm not following the order. But that's good. I mean, you got to mix it up. And eventually we'll get to that point to where you throw whatever attack you want at the guy and it's his job. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to go to uh, the other angle. See, 11, 12, uh, 6 and 7, 11, 12, 6 and 7.
little stab here and I can just slash it. Yeah. 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 Now the thruster's coming instead of a little slash. angle on that, which is probably going to be almost impossible. 
Okay, so again, uh, start here at the opening. Yeah, I mean, if you're in there, they're not going to fall down anyway. Yeah. Don't pour it towards the end here. Okay, so again, he's in between two cars. I mean, uh, it's a little tight for cars on the bottom, but it's pretty accurate more up top. And uh, I mean, that could be a stall. It could be, uh, you know, a limited passageway, something like that. And again, so what does he have? He certainly can't step to the left or right and do a uh, slipping type block. The only thing choice he has is a uh, linear defense. So again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in on those uh, same angles. So I'm gonna come in with that one and that eight and then that two and the five. And I'm gonna fight him back to the wall. Now when he gets to the wall, well, hopefully he's, he's inflicted some damage on me or he's going to have to do uh, a more pure static block. So again, you wanna bring that hand in. We're gonna go slow and uh, see if you can't bring that hand in, something like that to start with. Okay, so again, come all the way to the, to the opening here. Yeah, so now we get that whole distance. Just slow. Here I come with that one, bam, and here I come with that two. Right, here I come with that two, excuse me, and here I come with that two. Okay. Now back up while you're doing this. Okay. So again, here I come with that one, here I come with that two, and here I come with that two, and here I come with that one. So now you can handle that. Is that okay? Yeah, really. Do you want me to strike up every. Uh, basically on the downbeat. On the downbeat is when you so want to come up to the stroke. Right, right. right. So again, right down here. He's got to be punishing that full speed. Well, even going slow, that was... I'm feeling it, but we're going to feel a moment. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so there we go. Just, yeah, when it's that close, I'm just like... Just yeah. Put that hand out there. What you want to do is you want to be all the way back after I finish the first four attacks. That's what I want. I want four while you're moving, and then I want my other four attacks while you're all the way back. Okay. That fucking arm is just fucking rock. Here's what I'm gonna do. Our arms are really getting rocked. We've been at this for uh, two hours. So what? What? Here's what. Here's my thought process. Take this. Put one inside the other one. Yeah. So that you get 360 coverage. Because there's no way I'm going fast. Uh, I, I'm not highly motivated to go fast. Let me put it that way. Uh, I would do the left first because we're going to attack with your left. Well, you're guarding, so yeah, you would do the left all right. And uh, again, if you're going to leave something unprotected, might not get a good 360 cover, use the back. Let the back be unprotected. Okay, so now we're going to ramp this up a couple times for him. I mean, I can only say one thing. I wish I had three pads right now. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm still... You don't have to worry as much right now. Yeah. When you get out here, it's going to be coming fast, okay? Oh, okay. watch out. Okay. It should be coming. Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you, I didn't get a whole lot of meat in there. I don't, uh, I don't know how many times you. I definitely, I definitely felt his knife around my neck, and I didn't really feel too much of getting anything. I might have got an arm in there somewhere, but yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he popped me right in the eye. All right, that's, okay. that's good. That's okay. You ready? Yeah. I mean, that like I like I say, eyes and groin. That's where you're gonna mess somebody up. He popped me in the eye, I couldn't see, so of course I'd back off right away because I that can't was, see. That was just the blade too. That it was, wasn't the blade, yeah, it was a direct poke with that blade. I thought it was, I thought it was uh, the knuckles. Then I got my eye closed in time. Whew. So again, you got everything blocked. Yeah. If I got anything, I cut your arm a little bit. That might have hit right there yeah. for a second. But that was when I was walking to go for the kill. Right, right. So Did you get any kills? I got that one. Well, when you, you touch were, me, because I don't. Done. Yeah. I don't know if you're getting a kill if you don't touch me. Yeah. Okay, ready? Mm. 
There you go. You gotta get that knife up in. Okay, that's pretty good. Swap out person. That is, yeah. That's awesome. And again, I, I did cheat. I, I, I blocked here, I used all hand here, that's, and I got you here. That's so. what I was doing. Okay. I was using both. Right, right. <laughs> so see how I've changed this fight. I've changed this fight to where I have him back it up instead of me. I'm, I'm aware of the camera. Right okay. <laughs> Basically, I'm, I'm getting that first static block in here. While he's pulling back, I'm just coming in here, and I'm popping that one in here. So we're getting both hands involved in this drill here. And uh, give me one more. I don't care, come on. Give me, give me a distraction there. Oh, I got a hand full of knife. <laughs> that one's gonna work. Yeah, that's when I run. I probably had a handful of blade. I'm saying I have problems too, because I got a handful of blade. Yeah, when you're retracted, I got a handful of blade. But of course, uh, I'm coming in with that cut, so who's gonna win that one? That's, uh, that's probably one I'm still gonna win. <laughs> All right, you were, <laughs> you were waiting of, for that blade to go for a There's a lot of blades going up in the face here. I think mine made contact. Yeah, you were hitting right around here. Oh, okay. I went down. Right. <laughs> 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 right. That's all right. I kind of stopped the fight for you. All right. So as you can see, uh, you know it's possible to get out of these situations with a little bit of work. And again, bringing the two hands into the fight is uh, critically important in these instances to trap that knife hand while you go for your big slash. And again, this guy takes that big slash in the face. His motivation to attack is going to be uh, diluted or ended quite quickly. So again, uh, I'm going pretty quick. yeah, that's a couple of these drills. And again, that's uh, pretty much it for a linear defense today. And uh, we'll be on to uh, uh, starting to build an attack for the uh, Folsom Prison uh, attack in the next lesson. That should be pretty exciting stuff. Um, you want me to leave this on right now? What's that? Uh, we're all done now. Okay. All right, so we're wrapping up the uh, linear attack, or the linear defense, excuse me. Uh, you notice I did throw some kicks in there. Maybe uh, the angle was uh, set. I mean, it was. it's just hard to get a, an angle on that unless you get an angle from above, and I'm really not going to tie my uh, camera up in a tree. So anyways, uh, uh, you know, there was some kicking going on there. There was some, uh, you know, some just hard fought after scrambling. Uh, are you gonna get cut? You're probably gonna get cut. Uh, are you still gonna win the fight? Yeah, if you can get that blade onto his neck, you can get him moving backwards uh, to where you can get out of that trapped area. Uh, you're probably gonna be successful in that situation. And by probably, uh, you know, I'm talking 90% and up in a situation where you have to, you know, you have to defend yourself with a knife. There's really no way out in those situations. Uh, so let's see, uh, uh, while doing, again, while doing the uh, linear defense skill sets, uh, we noticed that we didn't defend against lateral attacks on angles three and four. Uh, if we had, we could have, again, just canned the blade. Instead of pushing like this, we could have just pushed like this, you know, for those type of angles. And you saw that we did do that a little bit. We went to a zone two type cut on some of the different angles. Uh, when it was uh, warranted. Uh, again, you know, the threes and the fours are very difficult uh, due to the confined, uh, when you're confined to that narrow area. Uh, there are some other things that we may or may not have noticed uh, that are important to discuss. One, a situation that is well suited for a linear defense, uh, we may have found that we're still able to perform area defenses uh, using static blocks. Yes, we did see that. Also, while seated, uh, if we are using an area defense, uh, we may have found that we're performing the angle three and four defenses a lot. Again, coming to the side here, uh, sometimes we were doing that. 
is because areas threes and fours are much higher uh, than they were before because our elbow is held higher and while we're sitting down and this is why these become a, a relative position of the threat because now he's uh, higher. Uh, remember that the position of the elbow is what determines where the areas are in relation to us. Uh, while the linear defense is fine when we can't move or can only retreat state straight back, the problem with moving straight back is that we're staying in the same position relative to the attacker, such that we, we remain where he can attack us. Of course, it's also, we found, a good area where you can perform a, uh, a defanging. Uh, fortunately, we have already began uh, to work on defenses that work well in those uh, situations and work much better in uh, open areas. So again, uh, we're going to, uh, again, we're taking a little detour away from uh, the standard uh, lesson four defenses that we're working on, these customizable defenses, but we are adding more stuff in that will help us customize those defenses. And uh, we're gonna get a little offensive again in the next lessons, where we're gonna look at what I call the, uh, the uh, angle three thrust, and then we're gonna look, uh, take a quick look at the uh, uh, Folsom prison style attack, and then we're gonna get back on to uh, finishing up our uh, counter attack defense with using the zones. And that's about it. That's, yeah, that's it for today. And uh, we'll be back on, uh, we'll be looking at the Folsom prison attack again in the next lesson. And then we'll get back to uh, fully customizing our defense uh, that we're comfortable with. And then we get on to uh, slasher lesson uh, five, which is a little more offensive.